Good morning, I hope you're well. So today is Boxing Day, it's the day after Christmas Day here in the UK and I thought I'd take you along for the day with us and show you what we get up to. I've got myself a massive jug of tea and the glamour of having Invisalign. I've got myself a mug of water to put my liners in in a minute. But onto the topic of the day. How was Christmas Day, babe? How was yesterday? It was good. I was really surprised how well we did cooking Christmas dinner. Oh my God, we nailed Christmas dinner. <clears throat> like I've never made Christmas dinner before. And to be honest, never really made a Sunday roast before because I've always thought I'm just not a Sunday roast kind of gal. I thought it was too many balls to juggle and things to get right. But we got everything right, didn't we? It was easy. It was easy actually. It's just yeah. everything in the other bag. Mm. But I always, in my head, I thought it was much harder than it was, but it was actually pretty easy. Yeah. But that being said, it's easy cooking a Christmas dinner for two people. With no bird. Yeah, with no turkey. <laughs> Whereas I can imagine cooking Christmas dinner for like a family of ten. Yeah. With no, I'm only joking. All that sort of it's stuff. Nice. It is one of, one of the hardest things to do, I would say. Did you find it challenging yesterday? No, I mean, like you said, it was easy because there's only two of us. If you had a big family of ten, yeah. with all the trimmings and all the, you know, the turkey yeah. and everything, they are be imagine being very stressful. And we were just thinking there wouldn't be enough oven space. Mm. Like, where would all the food go? You need yeah. one of those lazy Susan things. You're like a lazy Susan where you put all your food in to keep it warm and stuff. Anyway, on what topic. If Susan's watching, if Susan's watching, she's going to think she's, you call her lazy. I'm sorry, Susan, you're not lazy, hun. Um, but yeah, yesterday we actually had a surprisingly nice day. It was different, it was a very different Christmas. We FaceTimed your family, we FaceTimed my family. We played Scrabble, we opened presents, we went for a long walk, mm. we had Christmas dinner, we watched a Christmas movie. Question? Yeah. Who, who won Scrabble? You won Scrabble. I you won, won Scrabble. But you were supposed to let me win! I was supposed to let you supposed me win. You were supposed to let me win! But you didn't. You left, the, you left something wide open for me. I can't remember what the word was, but yeah. I just added like an ER on the end, or an ING or something. Yeah. And it, Got me like a triple, triple word. word score. Bastard. Anyway, you got the chance to redeem yourself later. Yeah, we'll probably play Scrabble later. We play some games, but um, yeah, Christmas has been different this year. But we're trying to see it as a silver lining. We're trying to think that it's probably the only Christmas of our whole lives we'll just spend us to. So we tried to enjoy it for what it was. Hey? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, cool. it's Boxing Day today. You are hot. Yeah. But relax. You're really warm. Um. It's Boxing Day today and we are going to go for a walk. We went for a walk on Christmas Eve, went for a walk yesterday. We're going for a walk today. It's just nice. You don't really want to do like a super hardcore workout, but you want to get outdoors and get your body moving. Yeah, stretch the legs. So yeah, we're going to go into the Surrey Hills. Oh my God, I've got my car and I can show them my car. Because I haven't shown you guys my car yet. I've shared Terence over on Instagram. Terence, the Tesla. The Tesla. Um, but I haven't actually shown you guys on YouTube, so I'll show you guys Terence. Okay, cool. Let's all drive Terence. Drive? Yeah, yeah, we'll drive Terence to, um, to our Surrey Hills walk and I'll try and show you him because I'm very excited about him. I ordered him back in like August mm -hmm. and he arrived in December, so I've been waiting for a long time and, um, well, relatively long time. I'm just really excited to, uh, to drive him. He's a dream. Anyway, we're going to have some brekkie. We're going to get ready. Oh, this is a really long intro, sorry about this. We're going to have some brekkie, we're going to get ready, and then we're going to go for a festive Boxing Day walk in the Surrey Hills. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, hello. 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 So we have made it to Rygate Hill. We've never been to Rygate Hill before, never been to be, never been to the, the retainers. These are liners make it really hard to speak. Never been to this part of Surrey before. Well, have you been to Rygate before? Yeah. I mean, he's born and bred Surrey, but I've never been to Rygate before. So we're doing a little walk today, about a 16 kilometre loop. Let me show you on my phone. It's an all trails one, you guys know. We love a bit of all trails. It is this route, I'll leave it linked down below. It is called North, oh, can it focus? Come on, honey, there you go. North Downs and Banstead Heath Circular, 16 kilometer loop located near Rygate and Banstead, Surrey. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's got 500 meters elevation gain. Should take us a few hours and uh, yeah, we're excited to get out for a walk. And when we finish our walk, I'll show you guys around Terence the Tesla. So we went on a walk on Christmas Eve and we were a little bit underdressed, weren't we, babe? We were. A we little were. bit chilly. We were a little bit chilly. I didn't wear a hat, I didn't wear gloves. And um, it was absolutely Baltic and I had goosebumps the whole way. <laughs> the whole 16 kilometres. So, today I've got like proper puffer jacket on. 
gloves on, hat on. I'm gonna be warm, all right, guys? Also, thank goodness we set off early. It's not even 9.30 a.m. and we are off on our walk. We got to the car park and how busy was it? Yeah, it was about 80% full. 80% full at 9.30 a.m. <laughs> on Boxing Day. It is mad. No, I was gonna say people would just wanna get outside. Nothing much else to do, is there? And that's the only way you can socialise right now, where yeah. we are. You can like meet one person outdoors. So yeah, it's like if you want to go out for a walk at the moment in Surrey, you have to get there first thing in the morning to get a parking spot. That is the way of the world right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is the view that we're walking next to right now. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at him all bundled up in his wellies and his gilet. And where'd you get that jumper from? Who got you that? That's a very nice little jumper. I got him it for his birthday. Guys, this is a proper British winter walk. Look at how muddy and squelchy this path is. Oh my goodness. I'm going along the Pilgrim's Way. Hi. He's going to go arse over tip because it's... Uh, it's slippery. It's <laughs> Literally, just as I said that, he slips. It's so slippery on this mud. Oh. Here he goes. Ant's going to try and make a new friend. Yummy, yummy grass. So we chose to do this route clockwise because she finished with this view. It's amazing, right? Nice. What's that town down there? Hello? What's that town? I think it's Vigate. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Hey, pretty. So they are very cute. There's a little cafe at the end of our walk, and look, all these vegan options. What did you get? A veggie pasty. A veggie pasty. Is it good? Mm. Phew, that was a big old walk. Ant is now driving. Here he is in the driving seat. How, how's the Tesla to drive? It's so nice. Yeah? Yeah, I love the acceleration. It's so powerful. Like, I didn't expect an electric car to be so... Like that! Woo! <laughs> it's so powerful. Anyway, Ant got himself a little vegan pasty from the shop and I got myself a latte with salted caramel syrup. Excuse the takeaway cup, that's all they had. But um, I haven't had a coffee in nine days. So I'm really, really, really excited to have my first coffee in a long time. I've been sticking to the Yorkshire tea and um, yeah, I'm buzzing to have a coffee. Anyway, we're gonna head home. It's like a 20 minute drive. And then as we're cooking lunch, I will show you around the interior of Terence. Feliz Navidad. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas. Oh, how do I turn that down? Like that, okay. So we are back at the house. Ant has gone indoors to put some sausages in the oven and I thought I could just show you a few little bits of the Tesla. I'm gonna insert some pictures here of what it looks like from the outside. So here you go, here's some pictures of Terence. Here he is in all his glory. I went for white, which was perhaps not the most practical color choice, but it was the cheapest color choice because every other color you get from Tesla you have to pay a premium for. So I was like, I'm just gonna go for white. So I have a white one which means it's already absolutely filthy. But um, yeah, he's an absolute beauty. And let me show you some of the cool features that we have on the inside of the Tesla. Number one, the roof is like all glass, all the way to the front, all the way to the back. It's like just pure glass, which I love. I absolutely love how much glass there is. And this car, I have to say, as I said earlier in the clip, like I have never really been somebody who's excited by cars, never thought cars were that cool. But this car is really cool. It's really smart. The technology is really forward thinking. It does so many cool little things, which, which are just like really well thought out by the Tesla team and kind of make it a really incredible experience to drive. And I'm probably gonna forget to mention lots of things today. So if you have any more questions or things you wanna know about this car, you just let me know. But I'll just give you a bit of an overview of some cool stuff that the car does. So I am currently on the passenger side, but this is what it looks like. You have the wheel and then there's no dashboard behind it everything is on this screen there's also no gearbox down here you change the gears using this little gizmo over here and then most of the functions of the car happen through this screen which is just freaking 
awesome. You have like this section where you can control all of the car stuff, so the lights, the mirrors, the steering wheel, you can open the charger, open the boot, you can put the windscreen wipers on and you can control all of these sorts of things. You have the music section, you can do things like karaoke, so you can pick a song and then it'll put all the karaoke lyrics on screen so you can sing along, which is just so much fun. You can also link to your Spotify, phone, radio, etc. You can control the seat heating with these little buttons here and the temperature. And then let me show you the entertainment. You can do calls, you can integrate your calendar, use the camera to look behind you, look at your energy, your charging, go on the internet, use entertainment, A up, come back up. You can use things like Netflix, YouTube, Twitch, you can go on the arcade and play all sorts of fun games for example this game you can do like a driving game using the wheel as the controller which is so much fun perhaps my favorite thing is this toy box section so i can for example <coughs> tap it and make it fart <coughs> <laughs> which provides me a lot of joy you can also do romance modes you can like make the car be all romantic and put on a warm fire vibe which is so nice put on some romantic music you can do sketch pad you can do santa mode so you can have santa mode where um every time you put the indicator on it does jingle bells you can do rainbow road and turn the road in front of you into a rainbow it's got all these like fun sort of tools and toys you can use so yeah that's like the main console and when you're driving you can see like your gears here you see your speed you see like what your lights are doing and stuff all in this sort of section up here so i'm currently getting used to not looking here and instead looking here oh and one more cool thing you see this section here these are actually iPhone chargers, so I can like place my iPhone on here and it will charge it automatically through the wireless charging. How amazing is that? It's just so cool. I can't really show you the maps function because the maps function shows where we are right now, which is where our house is. So I can't really show you that. But when you're driving, it has all these amazing things like it will show you cars coming past you on this little... Oh, I can't even explain it. I can't even explain it, but it's so cool i ever thought cars were cool but this car is freaking cool i'm going to stop talking about the car but if you have any questions about the tesla you let me know i feel like you might ask me if i bought it or if i've leased it or whatever so i am leasing it for three years and i think i have the option of either buying it or switching it in for another tesla so that's what i'm doing i pay monthly i'm leasing it for three years i got an electric charger installed on our house i got that installed when we first moved in and then we've been waiting for a few months for the car to arrive and if you're somebody who's considering getting an electric car i honestly really 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 recommend it whether it's a tesla or a nissan leaf or a this or a that or one of those new bmw ones there's so many amazing electric cars in the market but the government just make it so enticing there's so many positive incentives and financial benefits to having an electric car they do really try and make it appealing to you so i recommend looking into it doing a little bit of research because they do definitely provide you with a lot of benefits for having an electric car and they made it very appealing for me and that is one of the reasons why i went for getting an electric car not just because it aligns with my values but also because yeah the government make it very very appealing and they give you lots of benefits for doing it so recommend looking into it all right i'm gonna go inside and have some lunch i hope that was even mildly interesting i don't know i don't know also i really like these handles you kind of press them in here and then pull out like that so cool one last cool thing about the tesla is that this is your key so you have like a little card which you use as your key to get into the tesla and also if i don't have the card my phone actually acts as a key and if i'm within five meters of the tesla it automatically locks and unlocks very 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 modern and cool and by the way it's a model three it's a tesla model three what are you eating babe these are some crisps that i got on for christmas they are turkey and haggis stuffing crisps they're actually vegan um and i know that he loves crisps so i've got him a few different types of crisps but crisps for christmas are they tasty they are yeah yay i'm gonna try ah uh, wait till my uh oh yeah wait till i take them out the next round of eating and i'll have to eat in set points yeah and i can be asked to get these blooming things out of my mouth so it's lunchtime, and these are all of our leftovers from yesterday i made us like enough food to feed a family of 10 for two people because then we'll have leftovers for days so we had leftovers for dinner last night we're gonna have leftovers for lunch today i think i'm just gonna do like a big hash and throw it all in a pan heat it up heat it through cook some sausages to throw on top and just do like yeah christmas dinner leftovers because ultimately isn't one of the best bits of christmas 
eating leftovers but it's so so good cold or warm <laughs> So lunch is served. We have lots of Christmas dinner leftovers topped with some veggie sausages. This looks so good, doesn't it? It looks amazing. Yum. What's your favourite element of Christmas dinner, babe? Just eating. Just eating. What's your favourite ingredient of Christmas dinner? Yeah, the potatoes. Mm. It's got to be a good potato. Right? And we nailed them, didn't we? Mm. We nailed the potatoes yesterday. I think Kia's not doing them too big. Yeah, nice and crispy. Yeah. I like potatoes and I like... Stuffing. Can you guys see this? As we're eating our lunch, we've got all the parakeets on our bird feeder. Oh, and there's some in the tree as well. I am now in our main bedroom. And in the last vlog that went up last week, you guys saw this is an empty room and now we have furniture in here. We aren't actually sleeping in here, which I'll explain in a minute. But we have furniture and it's really starting to come together. So I'll give you a little bit of an update on the main bedroom so this is what the door of our bedroom looks like it's black this is just the base coat which is why you can still see the original color underneath we just put it on so we can just get a general idea and then they'll be coming back after christmas to paint it properly but yeah the door is black and as you saw last week the handles are black as well and this is what our bedroom is currently looking like. So this is the situation. We have the panelling on the wall and our antique brass little reading light. We have a gorgeous black four poster bed. We have these mango wood bedside tables, which are basically like glorified chests of drawers, little lamps, We've got a beautiful striped ottoman, which I am just in love with. We also have a rug that's gonna come and go basically over the whole floor of the room with just a little bit of wood showing at the sides but we do have a rug coming and on the other side of the room we have this chest of drawers we changed the handles on this to these black industrial handles and then we have these gorgeous pots i think i got these from nordic nest so i think these two are from nordic nest and i think this is from next home so yeah this is what we have on top and my friend vicky for christmas got me these gorgeous dried flowers and then over here, this corner is actually gonna have a big mirror filling the whole corner. But for now, we've put a basket and a little wooden stump and a plant down there, and also Ant's electric toothbrush. We have our curtains up. These are a beautiful linen curtain on a black industrial pole, and then also some cane blinds. And these curtains, they look light and linen-y, but they're actually fully lined and completely blackout blinds. So they're functional, but also look very aesthetic. And down here, of course, we have some plants. The room would not be complete in our household without plants. So here is the room from this angle to give you guys another idea of what it looks like. These doors are gonna be changed in January and the handles are gonna be changed as well. And there's gonna be shelves in these alcoves, which will be dressed and made looking beautiful. So this room is not quite complete, but we're getting there. Oh, and one more detail to show you guys is this beautiful light that we have in the roof. It looks kind of nautical, doesn't it? So yeah, this is our main bedroom and it's not completely finished. So I'll tell you about the bed in a minute, but there's still quite a few other bits to do. So we need that mirror to come in the corner. We need to properly dress these sort of bedside tables. We'll put some maybe more plants <laughs> in this vicinity. The more plants, the merrier. You guys know me. The limit does not exist with house plants. And we probably want to put like a mirror or a painting or something above the chest of drawers. We need to change the doors on the wardrobes, change the handles, add in the shelves. And then we need to do the cushions and all that sort of stuff on the bed. And then the bed itself. So we meant to order a super king bed because our new mattress that we got when we moved house was a super king mattress, but accidentally ordered a five foot bed so not a king not a super king bed so it doesn't fit our new mattress on it so we are still sleeping in the other room on the floor and we've just put our old mattress on here which is living on here to make it look nice but we're basically in january we're going to be switching this bed we're not switching it basically they're going to just keep the outer poles and then in january they're going to bring some wider middle poles and just <laughs> basically make the bed wider so our mattress fits on it so technically we could sleep in here, we could sleep on our old mattress, but we just want to save it and save sleeping in this room and kind of like making this room our own 
until our final mattress is on here and the final bed is here. So we're still sleeping next door on the floor. We're not in any rush to sleep in a bed. It doesn't really make any difference. Like the floor is very comfortable. So we're not in any rush to get into the bed. We're absolutely fine sleeping next door. So yeah, the bed is gonna be switched and made bigger in mid-January. So for mid-January, we will be sleeping in this room, which makes me so excited. The contractors finished most of phase one before Christmas, although they definitely made a few mistakes. We have had a few issues with our contractors. So they actually didn't fit the flooring properly in our hallway. I'll show you the hallway in a second. Um, so they're gonna have to come back in January and refit a section of the flooring because they didn't put the underlay underneath it properly. And it's kind of concaving and it's, yeah, it's just a bit of a mess. So. That sort of stuff is not very really interesting to you, but yeah, we, we are gonna get some few things fixed in January, finish off phase one, and then move into phase two, as we mentioned in the previous vlog. So, I'm waffling now. Let me show you the hallway, because we have a stair runner, the protective flare is up, and it all looks so good, and I can't wait to show you, so let's go. So coming into the hallway, as you can see, we finally have flooring. We can see the beautiful wood. I think we're gonna put some soft woven rugs along here to kind of soften it so it's not just wood exposed. And more of the doors are starting to be painted again. They are all a base coat. These haven't had their final paint colors on them yet, but I do love how they look with the Hardwick white framing and then the black doors. So just outside our bedroom, we have these gorgeous picture frames, which are full of photos of our travels together, places like Yosemite. And I think they just look lovely and really add a little bit of a personal touch to the hallway. And let me show you the carpet runner. Look at this beautiful carpet runner, guys. I never used to think carpets were that exciting, but I honestly think this is beautiful. It's kind of like a woven sisal material with an olive trim. And it's so soft and squidgy underfoot. And I just think it looks gorgeous and really softens the hallway. And down here, the protective flooring has been taken up. I mean, we still have some mess here and some random doors there, but let's just ignore that. We have this little stool next to the entrance with a mirror, hello. And we are gonna be dressing this stool, adding some bits and bobs. And we also have our coat hanger just here. While I'm down here, I might as well show you guys Ant's office because it's really starting to come together. So here we go. Ant has started to move his furniture in. He has his office chair, his desk. He usually has his big old screen just here. He has his chest of drawers with a CCTV screen on it. And then behind me, this gorgeous bookshelf that's gonna be dressed. And for Christmas, I got him this, which hopefully he'll be putting on display, which is a picture of us in Patagonia last year. Speaking of Christmas presents, Ant and I just got each other a couple of items this year because to be honest, our biggest gift to each other is this house. It is decorating, it is creating our sunny nest together. And ultimately, yeah, this home is our biggest Christmas gift. But Ant did get me a couple of beautiful items. I want to show you one of them because I am obsessed. It is this Holland and Cooper jacket oh my goodness so just excuse the fact that it does not go with my outfit in the slightest we're just gonna roll with it all right here we go here we go so here it is it's kind of like a tweedy style country jacket that i have wanted for so long and i've been watching the holland and cooper website waiting patiently for it to go into the sale and it's never gone into the sale and i couldn't justify it to myself but then aunt treated me for christmas and i could not be more grateful because I'm just absolutely in love with it. Such impeccable quality. Like the quality, sorry, the light's changing so much. The quality of this jacket is just absolutely amazing. It is beautiful. And I'm just so, so, so pleased with it. I can't wait to wear it with my wellies and just get out on some nice country walks. You know, that sort of stuff brings my soul so much joy. And I just can't wait to get outside in this jacket. It's gorgeous, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Can you see this? Oh my God, look. Look at the soft, silky lining. Wow. 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 I mean, it really does not go with my outfit, but let's just roll with it. 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 Joy, 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 the cheese plant. Needs a drink. 
Guys, I think Charlie is growing a new leaf. Can you see this? This is his latest leaf, this guy. And on its stem, it's sort of bulging and I can feel a new leaf growing underneath. So I feel like that's gonna pop out in the next few days. And that's gonna bring me a lot of joy. What time is it? 3.43 p.m. What's the agenda, babe? What are we gonna do now? We're gonna watch a Christmas movie. Yeah, we are. We're gonna watch another Christmas movie. We have been annihilating the movies this week, haven't we? We're just smashing through the Christmas movies right now, babe. So we are. We're gonna watch, which Christmas movie are we gonna watch now? We're gonna watch The Holiday. We're yeah. gonna watch The Holiday. Guys, we have resolved the issue around Home Alone. We have watched both Home Alone movies because the last vlog we told them that I haven't seen them in a long time. Yeah, the OG yeah, is the, like the OGs. four now. Um, so we watched the first two Home Alone movies and they were fantastic and now I understand what the hype is about. Yeah. I've only really enjoyed watching the Home Good. Alone movies. So yeah, I'm glad I watched those. And then we've also watched Arthur Christmas, which is a good movie. Yeah. I had low expectations and I blooming loved that movie. Yeah. It's, it's just one. nice, easy watching. And I, I like easy watching yeah. movies, don't I? Have you I? watched The Polar Express? I really watched The Polar Express. Have you watched it? I haven't watched it. Okay, that's a, that's a good short one. We should watch that one. Yeah. But now, Tom Hanks in it. we're going to watch The Holiday. Yeah. So yeah, it's 4pm, it's dark, and we're going to watch a movie. And we're going to put you guys on pause now. Bye. Doesn't? I don't think you can cook it in the microwave. No, they both look like oven cooks. Oh, is that your bun? Yeah. Mm. Oh, pre oven for 10 minutes. Hi, they're upside down. Um, so we just finished watching The Holiday. How great was The Holiday, babe? How many times did you cry oh, I cried during The Holiday? Times. I'm just a sock. I'm just one big massive sock. And don't I love love? You, you, you do. I love love. For dinner tonight, we are feeling lazy, aren't we? Yeah. We're not even feeling that hungry. But we're gonna eat because we probably should. So we're gonna have two all plants meals and share them half and half each. We're having nacho bean chili, roasted veggie lasagna. And we're gonna share those. So that's tonight's dinner plan. So I'll show you them when they're done. Yeah? Yeah. Has today's vlog even been interesting? No. No. That's a shame. I think you're boring. Oh, that is a shame. I'm joking. It? And here is tonight's dinner. We've got one veggie lasagna and one nacho bean chili. I think we're just going to go 50 50 on each. Good evening. Good evening. And that is it for today's vlog. So full up, babe. Me too. We were supposed to have crumble for dessert. We were supposed to have crumble for dessert yesterday. We were supposed to have crumble for dessert yesterday. We didn't have space for it. Supposed to have come for dessert today. We don't have space to it. So third attempt tomorrow. We're gonna try and eat crumble. If yeah? we fail tomorrow, then yeah. We're just big failures. <laughs> We're just losers. Crumble failures. So if you like the video, what do they need to do? Usual. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Boom. All three of those mean so much. We really, really appreciate it, and we hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye. Bye.